That's right, Rat. We're burying this treasure. Oh, you know, my great-grandfather was a real pirate. A real pirate? I didn't know there were real pirates. His name was Peg Leg Rat. He buried his treasure under Cuddles Avenue. And no one has ever found it. There's real treasure buried under Cuddles Avenue. Absolutely. It's been there for years. Oh, Rat, that's just a story. Well, uh, maybe it is a story. Or maybe there's buried treasure just waiting for someone to find it. Oh, a real buried treasure, B1? Which no one has ever found, B2. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's treasure hunting time. What a good idea. Bananas. Uh, Rat, there's just one problem. How will we know where to look for this treasure? What an excellent question, Bananas. And it just so happens that I have the answer. I know it's in here somewhere. Ah, here it is. <laughs> <coughs> now, this is what you need to find the treasure, Bananas. It's a metal detector. Oh. Uh, what's a metal detector, Rat? I'll show you. I put this metal coin under the rug, like so. Then I run the metal detector over it and... Ta-da! 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 It can find metal through anything, even under the ground. And since treasure is metal, it'll show us where the treasure is. That's right. We'll buy it, Rat. A very wise decision, Bananas. With this metal detector, we'll find the treasure in no time, B1. And we can dig it up with these shovels, Rat sold us, B2. So, so let's start treasure hunting. The treasure already, B1. Let's start digging, B2. Oh! Oops. Sorry, B2. No harm done, B1. Oh! Sorry, B1. <laughs> Not to worry, B2. Look, B2. There's something sparkly down there. It looks like diamonds. We found, found the, the treasure. treasure. This is so exciting, B1. I can't believe we've actually found a, a hairband. Well, that's not treasure, B2. But it's a nice hairband, B1. Very nice, B2. I think we've seen it somewhere before. You're right, B1. We've seen someone wearing it. But who? Topsy! Oh, hello, Bananas. Hello, Topsy. We found something we think belongs to you. Ta-da! Oh, you found my hairband! My favourite hairband! I lost this ages ago in the park. How did you ever find it, Bananas? Well, we were digging for treasure and we found your hairband instead. Well, this is treasure to me. Thank you so much, Bananas. <coughs> Mwah! Mwah! Oh, uh... We better get back to our treasure hunt, B1. Yes, right away, B2. <laughs> Bye, bananas. Thanks again. What are you doing, bananas? We're looking for treasure, Pedro. Pirate treasure. Pirate treasure? Well, I never. 
Never ever. It must be the treasure this time, B1. It has to be B2. Let's dig it up. Oh, oh, oh bananas. Oops. Oops. Sorry, Pedro. Uh, that's all right, bananas. I quite like mud. Look, B2. There's something shiny down there. It looks like gold, B1. We've, We've really, really found, found the, the treasure, treasure this time. time. Oh, how exciting! How very exciting! Oh no! This isn't treasure either, B2! Oh, how unexciting! How very unexciting! I think I've seen that watch before, Bananas! So have we, Pedro! Hello, Hello Bernard. Bernard! Look what we found! Oh, my old gold watch! I thought it was lost forever. Oh, I'm so glad you found it, Bananas. My grandfather gave it to me. It's very special. Hello, Morgan. Look, the Bananas found my bicycle bell too. And my favourite hairband. Well, well. Sounds like you've found all kinds of treasures, Bananas. We have. All except the treasure we were looking for. We can't find that anywhere. Can we be one? No, B2. Still, I suppose we'd better keep looking. Bye, everyone. Bye, Bye bananas. Ah, oh, poor bananas. What a pity they can't find the treasure. Especially when they've been so nice returning all our things. If only there was something we could do to cheer them up. Maybe there is. Listen. <laughs> Topsy, hide! <laughs> Hello? There's no one here, B2. That's odd, B1. Wait a minute. What's this? Looks like a map, B2. There's a big X. And a skull and crossbones. It's, it's a, a pirate, pirate treasure map! <laughs> Look! The treasure is at the beach, B1. Let's get down there right away, B2. Quick, Bernard, hide! The bananas are right behind us. Who oh, are uh, coming? The map shows the treasure near that palm tree, B1. Let's see if the metal detector can find it, B2. We found it, B1. Dig as fast as you can, B2! <laughs> Look, B1! A, a real, real treasure chest. chest! This must be Peg Leg Rat's treasure, B2! Let's open it, B1! <gasps> Gold. Gold! Wait a minute, B1. This isn't gold. It's chocolate! Chocolate? That's even better, B2. But B1, why would Peg Leg Rat bury chocolate? <coughs> I'm afraid it isn't real pirate treasure, Bananas. Bernard? Morgan? Topsy? What are you doing here? We buried that treasure, Bananas. And we made the map so you could find it. We wanted to say thank you for returning all our treasures, Bananas. So we buried a treasure for you to find. You did? For us? Uh-huh. B1, I think making our friends happy is even better than finding the real treasure. You're right, B2. And I think chocolate treasure is better than gold anyway. Uh, did someone say gold? What? You found the treasure? That's... that's amazing. I didn't even think there was one. This isn't Peg Leg's treasure, Rat. It's a different treasure altogether. But if you found one treasure, that means there could be more. Rat, you don't understand. <laughs> oh, yes, I do. I want to buy that metal detector back so I can start looking. But you'll be wasting your time, Rat. We'll see about that. Peg Leg's treasure is as good as mine. Mine! Mine, I tell you! Oh, oh that, that rat, rat in a hat. hat. Here. Have some treasure, everyone. It's the yummiest treasure ever. 
Do you hear what I hear, B1? What could it be? It sounds a little wet, B2. Wet and watery, B1. Maybe it's a dripping tap. No, it's not the tap. Maybe it's Finny the goldfish playing splashy games. No splashy games here, B2. This is a mystery, B1. Wait a minute. The noise isn't coming from downstairs. It's coming from upstairs. There's something wet on my head, B1. Uh-oh. Do you see what I see, B2? The roof is leaking! Don't worry, Bananas. I can fix that leak. No problem. Thanks, Charlie. But I've got a few jobs to do at home first. Then I'll come and do it straight afterwards. Whoa. <laughs> oh, there's just one more thing. Whoa. What's that, Charlie? I'll have to remove the roof to fix it. But it will only take a day or two. But we can't sleep here if our house has no roof. We'll get wet when it rains. And hot when the sun shines. And cold when the wind blows. <laughs> Sounds like a little bit of rat help might be needed. Sorry, Bananas. Perhaps you should stay somewhere else then. Must be off. Bye now. Hey! What a lucky pair of fellows you are. We are? I've heard all about your leaky roof. And I think I have the answer to your problems. You mean you can fix it? What? Oh, no. I'll leave the fixing to Charlie. But I do have the perfect place for you to stay while he does it. Oh, thanks, Rat. But we'll be OK. We'll just stay with our friends, the Teddies. Uh, the Teddies? Oh, look, I happen to know that Teddies are very busy for the next day or so. And besides, I have the perfect place for you to stay. Really? Where? Rat's Retreat, of course. Rat's Retreat? It's the perfect home away from home. It has a pool and a view and air-conditioned comfort. Pajama-tastic. Banana-rific. But it is very popular. Rooms aren't easy to get. Oh, please help us, Rat. We'd love to stay there. Well, I can't promise. But I'll see if there's a room available. Now, let me check the bookings. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. It's your lucky day, Bananas. It is? A room has just become available. We've had a last-minute cancellation by the... Uh, 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 King and Queen of Cheeseburger. Are they important? All the guests at Rat's Retreat are important. If you meet them, make sure you bow. Sure, sure thing, Rat. Rat. Now, the cost of your room is two honey cakes. In advance. Leave it to us, Rat. We'll be right back. Hello, Bananas. Found a place to stay yet? We're staying at Rat's Retreat. The King and Queen of Cheeseburger are staying somewhere else. So we can have their room. They sound very important. And when you meet them, you have to bow. Like this. Oh. Ah, help! Oh, dear! Hurry, B1! I'm hurrying, B2! Oof. Catching, B2! Catching, B1! Ah. Thanks, Bananas. Oh, you're welcome, Charlie. Gotta go. Bye. <laughs> Hello, Bananas. What's all the rush? We're off to stay at Rat's Retreat. 
Rat's retreat? Lots of important people stay there. You lucky bananas. So we won't bother you at all. Because we know you're busy. Busy? We're just off to have a picnic at the lake. As soon as we find Morgan. <sighs> Are we there yet? Morgan! Have you been asleep in there the whole time? Not the whole time. I'm awake now. Have a great day, Teddies. Bye! <laughs> Bananas think we're busy today. No idea. <laughs> Good afternoon, Bananas. I am Manager Rat. You look like regular rat to us. Ah, but I have a new duty to perform. You do? I have to personally escort you to Rat's Retreat and settle you in. Wonderful! Uh, just as soon as you hand over those munchy honey cakes. Here's mine, Manager Rat. And mine. Excellent. Now, walk this way. Not far to Rat's Retreat now. What will we do first, B1? Uh, go for a swim in the pool, B2? Or sit in our chairs and look at the view. We're here. <laughs> Where? Rat's Retreat. Isn't it marvellous? But where's the pool? Right here. That's not a pool. That's the lake. Oh, pool, lake. They both have water in them. And where's the view? Well, look around, bananas. You can see the whole world. I can only see the rubbish dump. You don't get to see a rubbish dump like that every day. Well, what about the air-conditioned comfort, Manager Rat? Well, it's all there, see? No walls to get in the way of the cool summer breeze. And at night, you can see the stars. Um, could you find us another room, Manager Rat? A room that's comfortable and nice? I'm afraid that's impossible. There are no other rooms available. Well, I must be off. A cheery bye. Rat's retreat is certainly different, B1. What should we do? We don't have anywhere else to go, so I suppose we'll just have to stay here. Oh. And remember, we must always wear our life jackets in the boat. And our sunscreen and hats. Hello, Teddies. Are you staying here too? Here? Where's here? Rat's Retreat, of course. It's got a pool. That's just the lake. And a view. Of the rubbish dump. And it's air-conditioned. That's because there aren't any walls. Did you actually pay to stay here? Manager Rat just charged us two honey cakes. Trust Rat to be behind this. We're sorry to tell you, Bananas, but that naughty rat has tricked you again. He has? This isn't a proper place to stay at all. Oh, that tricky, tricky rat. Don't worry. We can be tricky too. Now... Let's make a plan. <laughs> I'm a rat, I'm a rat, I'm a very clever munchy honey cake eating rat. <laughs> Good afternoon, rat. Uh oh. Uh, now, bananas, if you've come to complain about rat's retreat. Complain? Not us. We love rat's retreat. You do? Uh, oh, I, <laughs> I mean, of course you do. The people there are so nice. What people? The ones at Rat's Retreat. They gave us the yummiest pancakes. Pancakes? Really? Hi, Bananas! You were right about those pancakes, Bananas. They're delicious! I love pancakes! Uh, excuse me, Teddies, but where did you get them? Rat's Retreat, of course. What? The cook there makes the most delicious pancakes I've ever eaten. A cook at Rat's Retreat? This is incredible. <laughs> Are you the pancake chef? How can I help you? I'll have a plate of your best pancakes, please. Uh, so sorry. The pancakes are for guests only. The bananas and the teddies. But you don't understand. They're not really guests. And this isn't even a proper hotel. Zut is not? Well, look at it. Just a few old branches near the rubbish dump. No one would ever stay in a place like this. But the bananas are. I trick them. That's what I do. Uh -huh. <laughs> so you admit it was a trick. 
<gasps> You've been a very naughty rat. And we thought that you were trying to help us. But, uh, and I'm not really the pancake chef. I'm sorry, Bananas. When I heard about your leaky roof, I couldn't resist the chance to get some honey cakes from you. It wasn't a very nice trick, Rat. I know, and I'll make it up to you. How? Well... Give them back their honey cakes? Uh, possibly. And clean up their house once Charlie's fixed the roof? Hmm. I suppose so. Good to hear, Rat. And what about Rat's retreat? As of now, it's officially closed. Where will we stay now, B1? Rat will look after you. I will. And I bet he can make your stay feel like the perfect holiday. I can? Yes, of course I can, I think. Mm. Camping is actually lots of fun, B2. It sure is, B1. Especially when you've got such great help from your friends. Anything else I can get you, sirs? A glass of cold milk would be nice. Two glasses of milk, please, Rat. <laughs> you know, having to stay at Rat's retreat might turn out to be a good thing after all. It won't be just good, B1. It'll be banana-tastic. I like about today, B2? Everything, B1? Everything, B2. Ooh. Ooh! But I especially like the flowers. They are beautiful. <laughs> oh. You know what we should do, B2? Pick some flowers and take them home. That's exactly it, B2. <laughs> You know what else we should do, B1? Pick some more flowers so we can share them with our friends. That's exactly it again, B1. <coughs> now to find a friend to give the flowers to, B2. <coughs> we should give the flowers to a special friend, B1. But all our friends are special, B2. Right. So maybe we should give them to someone who really likes flowers. Good idea. Hi, Bananas! <coughs> Good morning, Topsy. Wow, I love those flowers. Look at all those colours. Oh, they smell so nice. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's flowers for a friend time. These are for you, Topsy. <gasps> for me? Oh, no. I, I, I can't take your flowers from you. Yes, you can. These are for a friend. And you're that friend. Wow! Thanks, Bananas! Our beehive looks like it's full. Mmm, full of honey. The bees have been busy all spring, collecting nectar from flowers. And more nectar means more honey for me. Uh, and you, too. Hello, Hello teddies! Look at my beautiful flowers. <gasps> They're so pretty. And they smell terrific. Where did you get them? The bananas gave them to me. We just had to pick some and share them with our friends. Oh, these are for me. Well, uh... Oh, bananas. That's so nice of you. The thing is, Amy... What good friends you both are. <laughs> They are for you, Amy. Thank you, Bananas. So, no flowers for us? Aren't we your friends too? Um, um... Of course you're our friends. Two of our very best friends. And there are flowers for you. We just have to get them right, right away. away. 
I'll pick some for Lulu, B2. And I'll pick some for Morgan, B1. Then all our friends will be happy. Hey! Hi, bananas. Good, Good morning, morning, Pedro. Great flowers. Glad you like them. They're a gift for our friends. Gee, thanks. That's so nice. Thanks, Pedro. What's so nice? Uh, giving me a gift. They are for me, aren't they? Well... Um... Or maybe they're not for me. Maybe I'm not a good enough friend. You're a great friend, Pedro. And these flowers are for you. Thanks, Bananas. Well, I never... Never, ever. Flowers for Pedro. But not for us. We love flowers too. Oh, aren't we good enough friends to deserve them? Of course you're good friends, Camembert. Two of the best friends we could want. And we do have flowers for you, Camembert. And for you too, Dolly. We just have to go pick them. Right now. We still need flowers for Amy and Morgan. And now we need flowers for Dolly and Camembert too. Otherwise our friends won't think they're our friends anymore. And what about our other friends, B1? Like Rat. And Charlie. And Bernard. Oomph! This will be a big job, B2. We need to be prepared. Right. I'll get a barrow, B2. And I'll get one too, B1. We need lots of flowers, B2. Because we have lots of friends, B1. Wow! <sighs> flowers for you, Cameron Bear. How lovely, B1. Flowers for you, Dolly. How delightful, B2. Sorry, can't stop. Have to go. Flowers, flowers for, for everyone. everyone. Those bunches of flowers bigger than the bunch I got. I wouldn't be surprised, Pedro. Dolly and I are very good friends of the bananas. Very, very good friends. Is that it, B2? That's it, B1. Every one of our friends has flowers. No one missed out. Oh. Oh, we don't have any flowers. What should we do, B2? Go and pick some more, B1. Right. There we are, B1. Our friends have flowers. And we have flowers. Good morning, B2. Good morning, B1. I am so hungry, B2. Breakfast's coming up, B1. Oh, oh no! no. What's happened, B2? They're all droopy. We must have waited too long to put them in water. Not to worry. We can go out and get some more. And maybe a few extra, in case any of our friends' flowers have drooped too. Good idea, B1. Nice, fresh flowers. Here we come. Whoa! Hello, bees. It's me, Amy. Can you spare us a little honey, please? <laughs> oh, it's OK. If you don't want me to take any, I won't. Why are you so angry? The bananas? You're angry at the bananas? Oh, no! The bananas are in serious trouble! Where should we start, B2? Wherever you like, B1. Whoa! What happened to the flowers, B2? I think we picked them all, B1. And did we make this big mess of the field? I think we did, B1. Are you buzzing, B2? I thought you were buzzing, B1. I'm not buzzing. Then who's buzzing? 
Aha! The, the bees, bees are, are buzzing. buzzing. That buzz doesn't sound very happy. Not very happy at all. Is something wrong, bees? Us? Are you unhappy with us? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. It's run fast time! Ah! <laughs> Hi, bananas! Oh, good, good morning, morning Topsy. Topsy. Hey, those flowers you gave me, they were all droopy this morning. Yeah, we know. That's why we were getting more flowers. But we couldn't. Why not? There's why. Bees! I want to talk to you. We've got a problem, Rat. Just look at these droopy flowers you gave me. We've got a bigger problem than the droopy flowers. We've got a bee problem. Bees? What bees? Oh, those bees. If you need me, I'll be uh, somewhere else. There's only one thing to be done. We have to talk. Bananas to bees. Uh. Hello, bees. How are you today? Uh, angry. I'm here to help, Bananas. Thank you, Amy. We need all the help we can get. Please tell us what's upsetting you. Flowers. Like the ones we picked. <gasps> Is this about the Bananas picking flowers? Thumbs up. I've got it. Bees collect from flowers. No flowers means no nectar, which means no honey. So by picking their flowers, we were taking away the bees' food. We only wanted to share the flowers. We're so sorry, bees. What can we do to make the bees happy? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. Instead of picking flowers, we'll plant flowers. Is that okay? I think that means yes, Bananas. It's flower planting time! Much as I like flowers at home, I like them even better in the fields. Wild flowers should be left to grow naturally. We know that now. Oh, we won't pick them again. We didn't help you either, Bananas. We shouldn't have made you give us all those flowers. And we won't do it again either. Are we doing a good job, Bee? That buzz sounds like a yes. To show that there are no hard feelings, Bananas, the bees have a present for you. Honey! And you know what that means? Lots of munchy honey cakes. For all our friends. When can we have them, Bananas? Just as soon as we finish planting these flowers, Morgan. So let's get planting! One more piece, B2. One more it is, B1. Another great fix-it job, B2. Just one of many great fix-it jobs, B1. Hmm, I have just one small question, B2. What's that, B1? Do you think we use too much black tape to fix things? I hadn't thought of that. Maybe we should take a look. I think you're right, B1. There's black tape everywhere. But how can we fix things if we don't use black tape? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. We have to learn about fixing things properly. And there's one person who can tell us all we need to know. It's Let's Visit Charlie time. After you, B1. After you, B2. Thank you! Oh! Uh, uh, after you again, B2. Oh, thanks, B1. <laughs> you want me to teach you, Bananas? 
You're the best fixer we know, Charlie. You can teach us all about how to fix things properly. Without having to use lots of black tape all the time. I'd love to teach you about repairing things, Bananas. Jamarama! We knew you'd help us. And there's no better time for your first lesson than right now. banana -rific. Let's start with the basic tools you need for repairing things. The screwdriver, the spanner and the hammer. Pajama-tastic! Now let's get fixing. Thank you, Charlie. But, uh, but bananas! Bye, Charlie! Bananas, wait! Oh dear! Now, where did I put that phone? Now that we have the right tools, we can fix anything. And we can fix things for our friends too. I know. Why don't we visit the teddies? Yes, they must need something fixed. And we can do it for them. Do you see that, B1? I see it, B2. Amy! Hello, Bananas. This is your lucky day, Amy. Is it? We'll have that fixed in no time. Because we're the Fix-It Bananas. Uh, uh, what are you fixing? This wobbly wheel, of course. It will wobble no more. But that wheel's always wobbled. It's no problem. And it never will be a problem. Not after we fix it. Are you sure you know what you're doing, Bananas? You bet. These are Charlie's special tools. We've just been to his place for a lesson. There you go, Amy. Try it out. OK. Hey! It doesn't wobble. Another great fix-it job. By the Fix-It Bananas. Thanks, Bananas. Our, Our pleasure, pleasure, Amy. Let's find more things to fix, B1. Right with you, B2. Morgan's always got stuff that's broken. But it won't be broken for much longer. Morgan! Gosh, the bananas really did fix this wheel. Uh, well, I think they did. Let us do that, Lulu. Because that's a fixing job. What do you mean, Bananas? Hmm, this stand is all shaky. You don't want to paint on a shaky stand. But, Bananas, it's shaky because you're shaking it. It won't be shaky after we fix it. Because we're the Fix-It Bananas. Are you sure this will work, Bananas? Nothing could be easier, Lulu. Just leave it to us. There you go. See? No more shakes. Oh, that does seem better. All in a day's fixing. For the Fix-It Bananas. Thank you so much, Bananas. Where did I put that phone? Aha! I knew you were in here somewhere. Hello? Morgan, how are you? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> All right. I'll be over straight away. Now that we've helped our friends, B2, it's time to do some fixing for ourselves, B1. La, 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 la. Lulu, stop. Did the bananas fix anything for you? Oh, yes. And they did a great job. No, they didn't. What? Anything the bananas fix doesn't stay fixed. It just gets worse. Oh, dear. I thought this might happen, and it's my fault. The bananas said that you gave them a lesson in fixing things, Charlie. I did, but I didn't. Uh, they were so excited about our first lesson, they didn't stay for the lesson. But they did a good job on my easel. They fixed your easel? All 
done, B1. Fixed to perfection. Everything's like new again. And we've fixed it without any big black tape. There's only one thing we need to do now. Find a use for all this black tape. Hmm. Bananas! That's the teddies. Maybe they have more things for us to fix. Great! Bananas! That's Charlie. Huh, he must want to see what his best fixing students are doing. Then let's let them in. Bananas! Stop your work! No more fixing! There is no more fixing. Because we've fixed everything. Everything? Everything that needed fixing is fixed. Bananas, be very quiet. And slowly walk to the door. Don't make any sudden movements. Is this a game? A fun game? No questions, Bananas. Just leave the house quickly. But why? What's happening? What's wrong with our house? It's your fixing, Bananas. Nothing you fix stays fixed. But we use Charlie's special tools. Why did things go wrong? Because learning to fix things properly takes lots of time and training. It does? It does. And we didn't spend enough time. You didn't. Or learn enough lessons. Correct. We're sorry. It's OK, Bananas. Everything can be fixed and we'll help fix it. And while we do it, I'll give you lots of lessons about how to fix things properly. Oh, thanks, Charlie. And you too, Teddies. Then, then we'll, we'll really be, be the, the Fix-It Bananas. I suggest that we all start bright and early tomorrow morning. But before we do that... You're all invited to afternoon tea in our back garden. It's our special way of saying thank you. See you all in one hour. Wow, Bananas, this looks terrific. Splendid indeed. What delicious food. Thanks, everyone. Come and eat. Thanks, Thanks bananas. bananas. Is this table strong enough for all this food? It should be. We fixed it only last week. You what? was close. We could have had the worst accident ever. But we saved everything. Wow! Oops. Now we remember. We fixed those chairs too. Sorry. Oh, bananas. <laughs> Change my whole life! Really? It's coming, Bananas. It's coming! What's, What's coming, coming, Rat? Rat? Help is coming! <laughs> Hear that? Help has arrived! Here it is! Doesn't it look good? How will the box help you? <laughs> it's not the box, Bananas! It's what's inside the box! Behold! The perfect Helper is here! <gasps> a a robot. robot! Not just a robot, but a ratamat robot. Oh, jeez and whiskers. Just look at these instructions. Not that I need them. 
Shouldn't you read the instructions, Rat? To make sure it works properly? I don't have time for silly things like instructions. <laughs> Greetings. I am Ratamat. How may I help you? It moves. It speaks. What is your command? Speak and Ratamat will obey. Obey my every command. Oh, the joy. Ratamat, my shop has dust everywhere. I command you to clean. <laughs> Ratamat must clean. Ratamat will do so. Wow! <laughs> oh, oh, isn't this brilliant, bananas? <laughs> a robot? Not just a robot, a Ratamat. This we've got to see. Good morning, Teddies. I take it that the bananas have told you about my amazing new Ratamat. They have. Can we see it? Follow me. Wow. Your shop has never been cleaner, Rat. Oh, thanks to Ratamat. It does everything so I can do nothing. <laughs> and doing nothing is what you're so very good at, Rat. Correct. Greetings. I am Ratamat. How may I assist you? <gasps> it really it does, does work. work. These are my friends, Ratamat. Friends? What are friends? Don't you know what friends are, Ratamat? We're your friends, Ratamat. <laughs> alert! Alert! Sorry? Mud alert! Ratamat will not allow mud in shop. Ratamat must wash! Wash! Ah! My shoes! We were all in the garden. We all have mud. Wash! 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 <laughs> Sorry, Teddies, but Ratamat likes to keep a clean shop. Greetings. How may I help you? Uh, we'd like some jelly, please. Green jelly. Jelly, jelly. Where is your red jelly? But we want a green, Ratamat. You do not want green. We don't? We thought we did. Ratamat says that red jelly is best. Take red jelly. Uh, Thanks, Ratamat. We'll be going now. Keep up the good work, Ratamat. I'll be at the beach if you need me. Ratamat does not need rat. Ratamat can do everything. Ratamat will do everything. Rat, what can I do for you, Bananas? Or better yet, what can I get the Ratamat to do for you? <laughs> we have to talk to you about the Ratamat. Tell me how wonderful he is. No, Rat. We want to tell you how bossy he is. Bossy? And unhelpful. The teddies think he's bossy too. No one wants to go into your shop anymore. What? <laughs> of course you do. Not if Ratamat's there. Goodness me, what a lot of fuss pots you are. Uh, very well. I'll talk to Ratamat. Thank, Thank you, you, Rat. rat. Ten centimeters from edge of counter. Position is perfect. <laughs> Greetings. How may I assist you? It's come to my attention, Ratamat. Though I don't believe it, that you might be a little bossy. Bossy? What is bossy? You make us do things we don't want to do. Are you going to buy something? Uh, no. We just want to talk to you. Only customers may stay inside. Leave immediately. Uh, do you think we should go, B2? We should be one. Now, Ratamat, you can't chase my friends out of my shop. This is Ratamat's shop. Your shop? It's my shop. Leave immediately. Leave my own shop. Sand alert. Sand alert. Sand? Oh, no. I was at the beach. <laughs> oh, cheese and whiskers. You're right, Bananas. That Ratamat is way too bossy. What can you do, Rat? I wish I knew. What we need is an idea. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. Ratamat needs to have fun. It needs to have friends. It's Ratamat Playtime!
Greetings. How may I assist you? Ratamat, would you like to have some fun? We'd like to invite you to a picnic. A meal eaten outside. How is that fun? Picnics are always fun. Very well. Ratamat will attend picnic to learn about fun. Bananarama! We'll see you soon, Ratamat. What do you think, B2? It's perfect, B1. Do you think Ratamat will like it? Everyone loves a picnic. Greetings. Hello, Ratamat. Are you ready for some games? Ratamat only has two minutes for fun. We must commence picnic immediately. Uh, but it's not lunchtime yet, Ratamat. We should play first and then have the picnic later. Beep, 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 beep. This picnic is unsatisfactory. This sandwich is not cut in a straight line. This drink is too warm. This rug is crooked. Ratamat will straighten. Ah, catch them, B2. Catching, B1. Ooh, ah, 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 ah. Time allotted for picnic complete. Ratamat will leave. What do we do now, B2? I think we'd better put these back on the blanket, B1. Door locked. Ratamat did not lock door. <laughs> it was me who locked it. I've got my shop back, Ratamat. Sorry, there's nothing you can do about it. <laughs> ha ha! Greetings. Why are you in Ratamat's shop? Oh, cheese and whiskers. Oh! Oh! Rat! Over here! Ratamat has taken over my shop. I can't believe it. He's going to take over the whole village soon. We have to send him back where he came from. We have to catch him first. And how do we do that? With bait. Banana bait. Huh? I think that's enough mud, B2. Right, B1. Come and join me. Hey, Ratamat, come and see this. There's a big mess outside your shop. Mud alert, mud alert. Ratamat must wash. Here he comes. And here we go. Get ready. Now. We got him. Get ready, Rat. Hey, Ratamad, <laughs> over here. Yes, it's me, and I've got very dirty feet. Dirt, must clean, must clean. Success, we've got you now. <laughs> oh, I'm such a clever, clever rat. Auntie, oh, that's not fair. Oh, oh, cheese and whiskers. Bananas. What's plan C? Whatever you can think of! And quickly! Mud alert! Mud alert! Ratamat must wash! Has it stopped, B2? I think it has, B1. Ratamat is going back where he came from. But, Rat, that means you'll have to do the work now. I know. It makes me tired just thinking about it. So what will you do? I'll do what I always do, of course. Nothing. Precisely. <laughs> <laughs> What a beautiful day for a walk by the lake. So peaceful. So quiet. Bananas! Did you hear that, B2? I did, B1. There! You're going the wrong way! You don't want to be late, do you? Late for what, Morgan? For Topsy's Shake and Bake Party. 
Topsy Shake and Bake Party. You haven't forgotten, have you? Um, I don't think so. Just remind us, Teddies. What is it again? It's a party where everyone shakes and does their favourite dance. And bakes. And makes their favourite pies. My dance is called the Teddy Bear Bounce. See? Bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Morgan! Are you all right, Morgan? Fine, thanks. Here, Morgan. We can help you out. Look out for the slippery mud, B1. What's slippery? <laughs> Sorry, bananas. Now I've made you even later. Not to worry, Morgan. Shake and bake time! Here we come! The first thing we need is something to bake. Something very, very tasty. Something from our very own garden. Hmm. Can you see anything, B2? Nothing, B1. None of our vegetables have grown yet. Oh, dear. What are we going to do? Let's think about it while we eat our apples. Apples? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. It's apple pie time! That should do it, B2. Right, B1. Here's the last one. You know, there's only one thing I like more than baking apples, B2. What's that, B1? Eating them, of course. Mmm, what's that delicious smell? It's coming from the banana's house. I'd better go and see. There, B2. Our apple pie is ready. It looks good, B1. And smells good, B2. Mm. But it's too hot to eat right now. So we'll leave it here to cool on the windowsill. Morning, bananas. Morning, Pedro. <laughs> Mmm, what a delicious looking pie. It's just baked. Apple pie, fresh from the oven. I love apple pie. It's my favourite. Can I please have a piece? Just a little one. Sorry, Pedro. You'll have to wait for Topsy's shake and bake party. Shake and bake party? You shake and do your favourite dance. And bake something tasty to share. And that's why we baked our apple pie. To share with our friends at the party. And you can have some there. Now we better go and practice our dance, B1. The banana split, B2. <laughs> oh, I think we need more practice, B1. Ooh, a lot more practice, B2. Then let's do it. Bye, Pedro. Oh, lovely, lovely pie. I'm sure it wouldn't hurt to take just one teensy, weensy, tiny piece. <laughs> Oh, 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 delicious. The best apple pie ever. Just maybe a teensy weensy bit more. <gasps> oh, there's no more. I, I've eaten it all. Great dancing, B1. Great dancing, B2. Oh no, the bananas. Shall we see if our pie is cool now, B1? Please don't look. No, let's check it later. Phew. We still need some homemade lemonade for the party. That's right, B1. Let's pick some lemons. What have I done? What will my friends the bananas say? Oh, dear. Oh, my. I know. I'll make them another pie. <laughs> but I'm too short. I'll never reach those apples high up in the tree. Oh, so I can never make an apple pie. Maybe I'll make another pie. A special Pedro pig pie. Lemon.
lemons look so juicy, B1. Just right for lemonade, B2. We'll soon be off to Topsy's shake and bake party. Here come the bananas. Oh, we can't wait to see the lovely pie you baked. It's an apple pie. Yum! <coughs> no time for pie just yet. First, we need to do some exercise. Shaking! That's right. It's dance time. Hooray! Over to you, Charlie. Let the dancing begin. Look, everyone. It's the teddy bear triangle. It's going to fall. Whoa! And watch how a real dancer does it. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Look out, rat! Watch the pies! Oh, oh, oh. Our pie B2! Catch it, B1! Ah. Oh, good catch, B2! You too, B1! Not all of them, Lulu. Good work, Bananas. Thanks to you, we have one pie left. And I think it's time we all had a little taste. Mmm, it looks delicious. I bet it tastes delicious too. Oh, yeah. oh Bananas, what did you put in this? Apples. Can't you taste them? <laughs> we can only taste mud. Mud? It's not an apple pie, it's a mud pie. What sort of a trick is this, Bananas? It's no trick. There's been a pie mix-up, B2. A bad pie mix-up, B1. Don't worry, everybody. We'll run home and get the real pie. We won't be long. <laughs> no sign of our apple pie over here, B1. And no sign of our apple pie here, B2. Hmm, where did it go? Look. What is it, B1? A trail of apple pie crumbs. And it's leading away from our house. You mean our apple pie ran away? Either that or it's been pie-napped. Pie-napped? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. It's, it's Detective Bananas time. I've still got this trail in my sights, B2. Me too, B1. <laughs> Detective Banana 2. What is it, Detective Banana 1? I think I found something. What? The trail of crumbs ends here. At Pedro's pen. Hello, Bananas. <laughs> Pedro? Why aren't you at Topsy's Shake and Bake Party? I was, uh, too shy to go. Shy? Why? Because I'm the one who ate your pie. You? I'm sorry, but it smelled so delicious, I just couldn't stop. And so you swapped it for a mud pie? Yes, now I've spoiled the shake and bake party. All because I ate your apple pie. Couldn't you have just made another one? My legs are too short to reach the apples up in the tree. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B2? I think I am, B1. It's apple picking time! Thanks, Bananas. Oh, you've made it so easy to pick these apples. Always happy to help. Right, B1? Right, B2. Bananas, you're back! Did you find the apple pie? We did better than that, Lulu. We found Pedro. Wow, Pedro, that's the biggest pie I've ever seen. The bananas helped me make it. It's for everyone to share. How simply scrumptious. Oh, let me go and get the plates. I'll put it on the table. Pedro, look out. Oh, 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 oh. Good 
catch B2. Sorry, bananas. No problem, Pedro. Now, who's for a slice of apple pie? Hooray! Hooray!